Hello and welcome to MATLAB course. This is Sam. In this video, I'm going to talk about some error which happened with a student due to the current folder pass. As we know, to import the data, for example, Excel sheet or CSV file to MATLAB, we have two ways. The first one is use import data tools from the tool strip or to write a command which is the read matrix command. For both cases, it's important to check the current folder path for you to read the data. Let's check first what's the current folder path. For example, this is MATLAB desktop. And in MATLAB desktop, this is the current folder path. In this part, this is the current folder path, where MATLAB will try to read the file or to save the file. And to check which file inside this current folder path, we can check this current folder window inside the current folder window we can see here which file or a folder inside this current folder path for example here we can see this is matlab.bng inside this current folder path and if you need to change the current folder path just you need to click here to browse for a new folder so let's go to the windows and matlab to check how to do that so this is MATLAB main window and in MATLAB main window we can see here this is kind of the default window which we can find from the layout and in the default layout and here we can see the current folder window and the command window the workspace window and here we can see the current folder path if you click outside the current folder path and then click again it's highlighted right click and then copy to open the folder for that. If I open this folder, for example, I will click Windows and then this PC, and in this PC, I will just here, Control V, or I can write right click and then paste, and then press Enter. If I press Enter, I can see inside this computer, C, user, Salem, picture, and then save picture, which is the same. C, user, Salem, picture, save picture. It's the same pass. And I can see here MATLAB BNG, which I can check here. This is MATLAB BNG. This is the same file. So I can check by going to the folder or even using the current folder, I can check what is inside that one. And now we understand the current folder. So let's suppose we need to download some data to check that. For example, I will go to the Microsoft team and inside that one from lecture 12 from the practice, I will download Excel file. For example, the grade underscore Excel. I will highlight that one and click download. It will download. And mostly this will download not in the current folder path. It will download in the download folder. For if I go to Windows, and then this PC, and then click here, this download. Inside download, I can see the Excel file. So please check the difference. If I open here this window, and this is second window, on the left side here, we can check the current folder best, like where the MATLAB will save and load the folder. On the right side, this is the folder where Mat where most of the computer will save the folder so here we can see the excel file so i will double click to open inside that like excel file we can check here that we have two like the spreadsheet the first one is week underscore grade and the second one is selected grade and for example for the week underscore grade if we need to read the student grade from student one to student four for the week one to week 10. For example, we need to read this highlighted range from B2 to E11. So let's do that. So I will like minimize the window. This is the Excel file. I will copy the name, control C, and then I will go to here MATLAB. We can read this in the command window and or the script file or live script pause is the same concept let's consider the live script just as a tools to read that this is live script inside the live script i will like write the comment as follows for example i will read the grades this is the names for that like that to save this matrix and i need to read from a matrix from a file so read matrix 
And inside the read matrix, I will put the file name. For example, this is the file name, which is grade underscore Excel dot XLS. And inside this Excel file, we need to read from the weeks underscore grades. Yes, we need to read week under weeks underscore grades. So I will write here, comma, and then inside that one, it will be sheet. And from the sheet, I will write the name, which is weeks underscore grades and comma and then i will specify the range so i will write the range and inside the range i will put the range which is from if we check here we can see that the range from b2 to e11 so i will write b2 to e11 this code is, is is correct and it should works so if i run now it works okay let me run this section to check oh error so the error is say that unable to find or open the excel file of course i made a mistake but i need first to confirm there is an error okay someone will say if i copy this command and go to the command window and then paste it and click enter may it works let's check it's the same error and it say that it is unable to open the file so please check check what check the bass or file name or the file permission so this error mostly because that the this is the current folder bass inside the current folder bass matlab try to find this file which is grade underscore excel dot xls but if we check inside the current folder window, we can see here. And if we open this like that, this is the current folder bash, we can see the file. The file is not in the current folder bash, the file inside download. So you have two options. The first one, you can copy this file here. So if I copy the file, control C and put control V. Now I have in the current folder bash, I have this file. If I do that, it should works. So what I did is I kept the current folder bash and copy the file to the current folder bash. So I can see the file now here inside the current folder bash. If I click here and run the section, now the data already downloaded or loaded. And in, if I check in the current folder window and then if I repeat the command again and then I click enter again, the data was read. So what, what we need to say is, the first option is, we need to copy the file. Okay, let me clear the screen. CLC again, and then clear this one, clear all the output. So now again, let me delete the file here. So the file is no longer available again. So if I open, let me check again. So now in the current folder pass, I remove the file and still the file in download. The second option to do that, so if I run again now, if I try to run here, I will have the same error because I don't have the file here. And also if I try to do the, the code again, same one, I will have the same error because I don't have the file now in the current folder. Mess. The second way to solve this problem is to click here, which is the browse for a folder to change the current folder. Mess. If I do that, I will click here and then go to download this is the place where the file is existing and click this folder if i need to check i will copy this right click copy and then i will open to check if the file is there yes i can see the excel and without opening i can check here on the left side in the current folder i can see the grade excel post in the left side i can see so if i run this code now I can check the file if I repeat the code again and press enter the, the code works now so if you face the error which say that we can't see the file so please check your current folder best you should change the current folder best or save the file inside the current folder best and another point is let me first try to clear the screen so I will First, write clear to remove the variable from the workspace, clear, and then CLC to clear this window. And then I right click to remove or clear all the output here. 
and let me again change the, the colored folder best to the original one, which is the save in picture. So picture and save picture. So this is a save picture. And again, here in the current folder best, it is save picture. And in the save picture, I can't see the grade, the, the grade like underscore excel.xls. The Excel file I can't see. Some of students say, if I write the code like that, of course, if I run, it will cause the error because we can't see the file name or MATLAB can't read. But if I try to use the import tools, I can do that. For example, if I click import data, I can import the file. The, the idea is you can import because in the import tools, when I click import tools, it gives me this window. And if you check here, you can file the Excel, but most of the student, they go to download and then click the file and click open. So they can find here and then they say, okay, I will edit the name to grades, let me copy. And then I will check the time, for example, to matrix. And then I will highlight this place. So we need to insert here. I will do this zero and then click import. So the data already imported. I know that, but the problem is once you click import data, it doesn't open directly to the current folder pass. And inside the current folder pass, you can't find Excel file. What you do is you move or navigate to the place where the Excel file is existing. So the import data tools is kind of a way in which you change the location to search for the folder. So this is why when you use the import data, you can open the file because you change the place to look for that file. But if you need to use the read matrix function, you should change the, the, the current folder to place where the file is or could be the file to the current folder pass. And second important point is import data tools. When we do that, it import the data to the workspace. So for example, when we import the data here, we can check that the grades already imported in the workspace. But the problem is if you need to write a long code and things is depend on that data, you it is not recommended to use import data. You should use the read matrix function because this could every time when you load the file, you don't need to do that manually, which is import the data and follow the procedure. You know you need to do that using the code function. That's all for that video. Thank you. Bye bye.